In the following question, a chemist took 2 dm cube of nitrogen gas measured under room conditions and reacted it with a large volume of hydrogen gas in order to produce ammonia. So this is the reaction of the Haber process. Uh, uh, what he's saying is that he's taking nitrogen, which is N2, and reacting it with hydrogen, which is uh, H2. And the product of the reaction is going to be it's going to be NH3 gas. And you need to balance this equation so there would be two ammonia molecules, uh, two nitrogens, nitrogen is balanced and there would be three H2 and all of them are in gaseous state. So they're all in gaseous form. And uh, the information that's given in the question is that 2 dm cube of nitrogen gas has been used in the reaction. So, so that's the information that's given in the question. So you have, you have 2 dm cube of nitrogen gas being used but later he states only 15 percent of the nitrogen gas reacted to produce ammonia so which basically means that uh, 2 dm cube of nitrogen gas is actually not reacting it's only 15 percent of 2 dm cube which is reacting so so we're going to find out what's 15 percent of 2 dm cube to figure out uh, how much nitrogen gas has actually reacted and we're going to use a calculator now to solve this. So it's going to be 15 divided by 100 into 2. And this comes out to be equal to 0 0.3 dm cube. So 0 0.3 dm cube nitrogen gas has actually been used in the reaction. Now remember for gases. Uh, the mole ratio and volume ratio is always the same because all gases occupy the same volume. So you have 0.3 dm cube of nitrogen. So if you look at the equation, one mole of nitrogen produces two moles of ammonia. So the ratio in which uh, they are reacting is one nitrogen producing two ammonia. So according to this ratio, 0.3 dm cube uh, nitrogen would produce 0 0.6 dm cube of ammonia gas. Remember for gases the mole ratio and the volume ratio is exactly the same. So one mole of nitrogen molecule produces two moles of ammonia molecules according to the equation. So 0 0.3 would produce double that 0 0.6. So one ratio to 0 0.3 producing 0 0.6 dm cube. Now what the question wants is it wants the mass of ammonia. What mass of ammonia is produced? Now the first thing is we need to find the we need to find the moles of uh, ammonia. So moles of ammonia would be equal to, now this is a gas. So if you want to find the moles of ammonia, you divide the volume by the molar volume, which in this case is 24 dm cube. So 0.6 dm cube divided by 24 dm cube. And the answer, the number of moles that you're going to get is using your calculator, it's 0.6 divided by 24. And the answer is 0 0.025 moles. So you have 0 0.025 moles of ammonia. And the next step is you need to find the mass of ammonia. So mass is equal to moles multiplied by the MR. So you have 0 0.025 moles multiplied by the MR of ammonia, which is it has uh, one molecule of NH3, has one nitrogen which is 14 and three hydrogen. So it's plus one, plus one and plus one. So hydrogen is one. So that's the MR, which is 17. So it's 0 0.025 multiplied by 17. And the answer that you get is 0.425 grams. So that's the mass of ammonia that would be produced. And the option, the correct option is going to be B.